Hey everyone, I know a lot of you guys are developers, web developers too, um, so today's episode is more oriented to you guys, uh, because thanks to this uh, great plugin, you can now design in Sketch using CSS. So even if you're not a developer, uh, or you, but you know your way around CSS, you will find it very useful sometimes um, to use CSS instead of just using the default Sketch user interface. So uh, here's how it works. Uh, first we go to this GitHub page where you can download the plugin and a big shout out to John Coates, Coates something, the developer of this plugin. Um, he did a great job and this is all possible thanks to him. So digital high five to you, John. All right, so for the rest of us, this is how it works. First, let's hit that download zip button. Uh, from the GitHub page. I'm going to link this in the show notes. So you can just hit that and let's download the zip. Uh, if we take a look at the GitHub page, the readme file, um, you can see that the developer posted a link to a Medium post where basically he describes why he built this plugin, uh, why it's relevant. And even though it's not just for you know developers, um, but it's just... Um, this is very useful for those, for them, since, uh, you know, they're already um, familiar with uh, CSS, right? So if, you, if you're interested in reading this, um, give it a read uh, if you're into this kind of thing, like I am. But um, yeah, I'm going to link this as well in the show notes. So we downloaded the zip, so I'm going to go ahead over to the downloads thing. This is how you install it. This is the what you will download and you have this file with the extension sketch plugin. So you just double click that and um, we'll see how I already have it installed. If not, just hit install. I'm not going to do that. Oh, wow, crashed. <laughs> Yay. Um, so we have that. And for this episode, I'm going to use one of them, one of his examples. Uh, it's in the examples folder if you want to follow along. And let's open up this uh, layout sketch. I'm going to hit that, double click that, and this is it. I'm just going to move it over to this space. And this is the file, this layout file. I'm going to put this a little bit bigger so you can see that. It's an artboard of an iPhone success, and you have this basic grid, right? So the way it works is uh, he's using less to write his CSS. If you're not familiar with less, it's... Um, it's a very neat way to write CSS and it extends the functionality of CSS pretty much like SAS. I personally prefer SAS, but um, less is pretty cool as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this and I'm going to open this in my text editor, which is Sublime. Um, again, let's move this to the same space. And um, you can just like do some changes in the CSS file and you will see that in the sketch file. But first, what you need to do is go to plugins. And let's see the CSS sketch, CS sketch. <laughs> I guess that's how you pronounce it. And let's hit the set pages style sheet. So this is the way that the plugin will know which uh, less file uh, we are targeting for this file. So let's hit that. And in the examples folder, I'm going to select the same uh, style sheet, which is the layout.less. So I'm going to choose that. And now it's linked. So, for example, let's head over to the Sublime Text. And you can see, let's take a look at what he has here. He has this, uh, like this function, which is a reset, basically just setting the positions to 0, 0, right? Um, because by default, it will use the coordinates of the sketch file, like of the artboard, basically. So if you want to reset the position, let's extend using this function. Um, he has this mix-ins just uh, for support for systems uh, old, uh, older than El Capitan, which I don't need this. Uh, I mean, I have El Capitan installed, so, so we can delete this, um, the lines that are just, you know, for uh, Yosemite and older support, like so. I'm just going to delete these. And here, uh, we can just take a look at it. And even if we're not familiar with the syntax of less, we can pretty much guess what it's doing. So for example, uh, here on the name, 
equals rectangle uh, is targeting every layer named rectangle. And if we take a look at a sketch file, we can see that inside this folder we have all these uh, objects named rectangle, right? So what it's doing is it's targeting every uh, rectangle and the nth child, the odd child, and here is targeting the even. So basically we can guess that this is targeting the first, the third, and the fifth, so on and so forth. And here's everything that is even, like the second, the fourth, and the sixth, and so on and so forth, right? And it's just changing the background color. So let's just take a look at it and just let's change this to blue and change these to red. And if we save that, uh, we can see that it changes the colors of the thing, right? That's, this is pretty bad colors. Let's go back just for now. And um, so that's pretty much it. So let's take a look at it. At it. So here you have a table, which is targeting again here this table. And we'll reset its position. And it's going to say that the width and the height is 100%, right? And then like on a rectangle, uh, it's, it's giving it a size, which is going to be used here. This is like a variable, which you can reuse. Um, so let's just change the size, just for the sake of it. Let's put 100, and bam, it uh, updated live. So here's what something that we can do to help us. We can use, if you're using El Capitan, you can use the, uh, the full screen feature to have, you know, uh, two windows in full screen. So if you hold the little uh, full screen uh, button, you can click and hold that and you can select uh, an area of the screen. So let's do that. And then let's select the text editor. And we can adjust that size. So here we can have, you know, the text editor on the right and the sketch on the left. That's pretty neat. So again, let's, let's go back. Let's change this to 100. And then you can see that it's giving you a margin. So let's say I'm going to give it 10 pixels left and right when I hit save it will update it at. and you can already tell this is pretty cool uh, if you're you know if you're very familiar with CSS and especially for tables and stuff like that if you used to you know design in the browser using CSS this is pretty cool uh, and uh, pretty it can be way faster to do actually than than just dragging and dropping elements uh, manually right so you can target pretty much everything you can do uh, anything that you imagine that you could do with CSS um, and that's pretty much it. So let's do uh, another demo. Let's let's um, let's try and uh, start one from scratch. See how we would do that. Okay. So I'm gonna close this one. And I'm gonna open a new file and I'm gonna save this as uh, CS Sketch. Wow. Right. And let's let's save that in the desktop. There you go. And let's uh, create a artboard. I'm going to change it. I'm going to select the desktop one, right? And I'm going to go to Sublime and I'm going to uh, create a new file as well. And I'm going to save this as CS Sketch as well. And I'm going to save that in the same. You don't need to save that in the same uh, directory, but I don't know it helps for me. <laughs> okay, so we can delete this one. Or you know what? No, let's not do that just yet. So uh, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna just for the sake of the demo, I'm gonna create like a very, very, very boring uh, website. <laughs> let's say it's 500. That's fine. And um, I'm gonna just give it a background image, and I'm gonna use this plugin called Unsplash it, which is gonna take an image from Unsplash, the very cool um, stock photo website. So I'm gonna just hit that and bam done and i'm gonna add um a second fill just like black but uh like 50 percent opaque right just to put some text on it and um yeah let's add some text like we're gonna do like a navigation bar for example so i'm just gonna say t i'm gonna say like brand and then Let's say like navigation one and uh, let's do navigation two and let's do navigation three. Right? And let's make these like medium, maybe 18 pixels. Cool. Right, okay, this is pretty bad, but 
you get the point just for <laughs> sake of the demo all right and i'm gonna i'm gonna group these and i'm gonna call this the nav again just for the sake of it so for example if you want to make a nav bar on this website uh let's do that with css so first thing again let's uh target the our style sheet so i'm gonna hit that and i'm gonna select Ooh, i forgot to and i'm gonna rename i forgot the extension just less add that cool i have to open it again cool so let's target that again this one choose bam and let's do the the um, full screen thing again i like that okay so it would be wise probably because i'm using th that a lot let's just copy this function the reset function and let's add it to our own style sheet right so let's start out but just by saying that i'm going to say the name equals let's target the nav bar right and i'm going to reset its position just like that and when i saved as you can see it moved to the coordinate zero zero like it was supposed to right so let's say that this has a margin um auto so we'll keep that centered um actually you know what let's say that the width is i don't know 80 percent um and the height is 80 percent as well and uh, let's give it a margin top of uh, 20 pixels right bam so this is just a pretty uh, you know pretty natural thing you would do when you're designing a website like so um and now let's say that inside this we're going to use some nesting um i'm going to change and head over and change the layer's name to just navigation and brand right oh and by the way something you have to keep in mind the order of the layers here in the layer list uh, is going to reflect basically like if you were to write html right so the first one it would be the first one to be written um so on and so forth so for example here the brand actually comes first so let's change that order so it reflects actually how it was supposed to be right okay so inside let's target the uh everything that has the name navigation all right and let's give it a margin right or actually margin left of uh, i don't know 30 pixels so every navigation has a margin on the left of 30 pixels right for example and there you go this is just a quick demo of how you can use css to design in sketch i think it's pretty 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 cool uh, especially again if you're a developer like you you are used to this using css to using css to uh, you know lay out your design and stuff in the browser so if you're one of those um this is for you i think it, it can be pretty cool again shout out to the developer he did a great job with this um of course this is like version one so if you have any if you find any bugs or something i think it would be pretty cool to just head over to the github page and open an issue or something or let the developer know in any way so he can uh, make it better and i'm excited to see what uh, people can do with this right to be honest i'm not very familiar with the uh, flexbox which is something that um in all the examples uh, the developer uses that a lot and i know flexbox is pretty cool <laughs> but uh i've always stay out of it stay stayed away from it because you know browser support and all which i know is getting way better than, than it was before so maybe i should look into it uh, but anyway you don't need to use flexbox it would just help a lot especially on layout stuff but um yeah i think i think this is pretty cool and uh, i was pretty much blown away when i when i played with it the first time um so yeah what do you guys think um Feel free to leave a comment and uh, let's start a conversation on this because this can this can be pretty cool. All right, guys, 
uh, I will wish you uh, happy holidays, even though I'm kind of late. Um, <laughs> but uh, hey, have a great new year. All right. And I'll talk to you next year. All right. Bye.